the first day we rode it, the first session, it was like slightly onshore and it was like three to four, four and a half on the sets. What was this? I, that was a point. Oh, that was solid, yeah. yeah. Actually, should we cut out? I'm going to cut out when we say point. I'm not going to say it. Yeah! <laughs> so, yeah, that was like that solid day at the point and I could just feel like sometimes it, it sits in the water, like the board doesn't feel yeah. because you don't have a whole heap of doubles. So, double when there's a bit more double, also you, you find yourself sitting on top of the water. And also that's due to the rails, so the rails are medium to slightly yeah. full, so it holds a bit of chunk. This is actually... And you can feel though, it's not super rounded, it's actually still got that little... It like rolls down yes. and it's flat, like yeah. it's still got that performance shape yeah. all the way it's... up, all the way through. And I also like how it kind of knifes out uh, mm. towards the back of the board. I'd also say the wide point, they've put a bit of foam set up as... It's more front from Front from center, center. yeah. You can feel it under your chest. It feels very similar, especially when you're paddling. Like that nose feels so similar to the RNF mm. Redux. It's almost like an exact copy. Maybe just a bit wider. So this one's a five six twenty by two and three eighths thick, and it comes in at twenty eight point five liters. Personally, myself, if I was to buy it, this is Dylan. He, he Dylan owns this one. And it's got those nice rails. It's very oh, tempting. Yeah. It's got the fucking um, grey and. Grey and green, red, yeah. I just love it. I would personally go the 5.5, five, so I believe it's at 19 and 3 quarters by 2 and 5 sixteenths at 27 litres. Mm. So that's the board I would go, uh, because I feel especially like I was surfing today and the, such strong winds. The waves looked so good, but the wind was so strong, I couldn't even surf, I was so frustrated. Mm. Uh, and I was running the 20, the 20 and 2 and 3 eighths, especially, I'd say more so like that that width and the like the bulkiness of the 28.5 litres mm. just felt like I couldn't get, you know, I couldn't be quick and reactive on those quick sections today, which was, and all it was real, it wasn't good surf, so I can't, I'm not going to even count that surf to review this board. I tried this board on my backhand and it does go really impressively. Uh, so, yeah, that's just a little, I guess, like, summary of mm. how this board went. I think I can definitely recommend it if you want a board for like one to four foot waves to chuck in your car for most days. And you can surf anything. Anything. Any yeah. sort of wave, yeah. any time. Actually, one thing I would say is the other day I surfed, what, two days ago at, a, at one of the local point breaks, and there were some really good tubes on the inside. Mm. I felt like, and I think it was actually that size of a board, I felt that 20 yeah. and 2 and 3 eighths, I couldn't knife into the tubes. Like, it was I was struggling. For you. But I, I still got in. Mm. But I, I just had to, I had to figure out where to take off. So it's not... It's good when you have like head high waves in the tube, so like two to three foot. Mm. But as soon as it gets bigger, it kind of just feels like it's holding. And uh, but it, obviously you could ride it bigger on a point break, mm. like because point breaks roll and the way they you know the way they break is different to mm. a beach break. But I had the most fun on a beach break on this board. The the session we surfed at uh, the like just below Main Beach, when we surfed Belongil, that was when oh, I had, yeah. that's when I had the most fun on this board. That oh, day, yeah. this board was so... I could push this board so hard on rail. And that's why instantly to my mind, I was like, this has to, I have to recommend this to people that are interested in buying this board. Yeah, you were hyping. Like, yeah. Well, what do you rate it compared to a lot of the other boards you've ridden? Sip, sip, sippity, sippity, do of water. If I rate it to the other boards I've ridden, and I think, yeah, I can't really rate it to, like, thrusters, but if I rate it to, like, two plus one boards I've ridden... I'd say probably the Super Twin 2 for me personally is better. Really? I, I think so, yeah. Just because it's a bit more refined. Mm. It's it's definitely less forgiving than this board. Yeah. But interestingly enough, even though it's so refined, you think you look at it, you're like, oh, the paddle power will be interesting. But the paddle power on that board's also quite amazing. Mm. So like, it, I think the wide point, like the wide point, still also that front from center, but slightly pushed back mm. on the Super Twin 2. So. It's a bit more freed up in the it's front. It's a bit more pulled in. But yeah. I think if this was in a 5.5... Five, you would love it. I would, yeah, I would really like it. I felt sometimes there was uh, little little minor like uh, issues with the board was sometimes paddling it. Like we were, when I was paddling it, I felt like getting into waves was fine, but sometimes paddling around, I wasn't tired. No, I got that too. Yeah. I was just like... I it, can it paddle felt high quicker on a lot of other boards. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I struggle paddling, but... Mm. Everything else besides mm. paddling this board, but not onto waves. Getting waves was no, no get never a problem. Waves. Easy, yeah, yeah. yeah never a problem getting into waves. Just paddle back out. Yeah, I was yeah. Just like, oh. yeah. I don't know why it felt. I think it felt like in the front, like just that final 
because MR obviously is collaborating, and that's kind of what he, like his final, the mm. front of his boards are definitely more uh, refined. It's, it's holding that mm. volume here. Uh, so that's the front and the from chest, centre volume, yeah. and then as it gets to here, it starts to get refined and freed up, so in the nose. Not much more to say, uh, I'm trying to think normally what we would talk about. Overall, Don't you see if you want a FUD 20, that yeah. can still perform and rip. And I think yes. you could be a high-end beginner to expert server, advanced mm. server. Size it accordingly, so... Yeah, it's yeah. really sizing yeah. this board. Yeah. So Dylan, you found the 28.5 litre oh. one to treat. Yeah, I'm lazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're lazy, but you also like bigger boards. Yeah. Generally. But this is the interesting thing. One more thing I'll mention is recently, one of my mates came from Sydney to Byron Bay to surf, and I rode his Sharp I-77 as a squash tail, but a bigger size. And uh, I, I just, I, I guess I'd like to say is that sizing is an interesting one, because that was at 28 litres. I thought it would be boxy, but it felt perfect. It felt better than mm. what I was riding before. So each board is so different. Where the wide point sits, the rails, lower rails, all those things, determine what literage you should go for board. So this is part of a channel we're learning as we go along and uh, so yeah, so you guys can get a better idea of kind of how boards work and get involved in the discussions. Subscribe down below. This board's recommended and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next episode. Mm. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, the lake. Oh.